What changed for the Cavs in that specific game? Because Boston had totally dominated it at home. Was it as simple as, as the location changing? That too, and LeBron hoping that all these guys get involved in the game early on. I think that's what he was trying to do in game number one. It never happened. Then he said that he's going to take over the game in, in game number two where he go out and have a triple-double and they lost. Like you say, locations help. You know, when you go home in Boston, obviously haven't been good on the road. But I think they're going to have a different response tonight. Uh, whenever you get blown out like that and just looking at those guys' face and knowing that the competitiveness in that team right there, I think they're going to bounce back. You know, Le LeBron, a lot of people like, I'm going to rip your throat out, LeBron, where he just comes out scoring. But I don't think that's necessarily the most effective version of LeBron. Sometimes he has to do that. When somebody else gets going earlier it takes a lot of that pressure off and I think it, it frees his resources a little bit so he can be all around LeBron and that's the most effective LeBron to me mm -hmm. the one who's scoring in a timely fashion who's setting guys up with ridiculous passes across the court and then is defending and swarming everywhere but we set the standard for him where we expect him to be able to do everything all the time and that's not really possible he needs somebody else to help out so that he can do everything I agree with you 100% uh, as you saw in that uh, game number three, he got more rest. And Boston mentality is that we want to keep you on the floor as long as possible because they want to, you know, wear him down, especially at the end of the game. And he's tried, like I say, he's tried to get all these guys involved. Kevin Love stepped up big. You know, I mean, you George Hill had 13 yeah, George, points. It felt like 25. Felt, you're, right, <laughs> you're right. It did feel like 25. And and he needs a, he needs that. You know, and in order for him to be able to have an effective game and play an overall game. And uh, I think that he did that successfully, especially on the defensive end. You see the energy that he had and he was exerting out there. And uh, when he's playing like that and everybody's involved, then, yeah, they're, they're a hard team to beat. But I truly think the Celtics is going to bounce back. For some reason, they they one of those resilience team. Whenever they get beat bad, they seem to go back and, and play a lot better. Well, you got them having a chance against the Warriors. Of course you, you think yeah. they're going to bounce back here. <laughs> All right, I think if the Cavs win game four, the Cavs win the series. But you think Boston is winning game four? I, I think Boston probably come out and, and win game four. If it goes back 2-2, then, yeah, you can say. But I'm, I'm not taking anything away from Cleveland. Cleveland is a very talented team, and, and, and obviously they have – the, the best player in the game in LeBron James. But I think something about that Celtics team is just I like, you know, I like their toughness, their mental toughness. And those young guys, they're not afraid to go get it.